Okay, I'm going to shoot a quick video showing how to disassemble and clean the Plan Tower PMS 5003 dust sensor. I have to split this housing and remove it. I'm going to do that first. I like to split it here around the fan because there's an opening. Pry that out a little bit and slip in a tool to hold it, like so. And move to two more sides. We'll do the same thing. Once you get that split, it should start to hinge. You can hold these two sides with your finger and thumb. Go to the back here and get underneath, similar to how you did it before. And that should release that part. This one's a little dusty. A spring will come out. It was right here. We'll keep that. There's a place there that just keeps us grounded. Put the spring inside and hang on to it. I'm going to take the other part off. I'm going to leave this end to the last because it's easier to get something under there. I'm going to start with this side. Try that out a little bit, slide something in between, just hold it open, and just go around and do the same thing we did before. careful when you're doing this not to slip and slice your fingers. This tool that I'm using is just a uh, prying tool. It's thin, it's very flexible, uh, but it's also a little bit sharp if you get it the wrong way. Now we can slide in here. I'm kind of prying up as I do this and that removes that. Now there are three springs under this one so be careful the dust out of there. One, two, three. Put those someplace. And you can see this one's pretty dusty. This is being used in a uh, research facility. So it's pretty dusty. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to gently pry these wires up and I'm going to disconnect the fan because I'm going to remove the circuit board to clean this. So I'll just tuck that out of the way. There's a little housing here that covers the uh, power connection or the just gently lift that out with a pair of pliers and set it aside. All these things are being done to uh, limit the amount of light that gets into this because this is a laser diode so if there's an external light that comes in we have problems. There are three screws. Remove, remove those carefully and just set them down. One, two, in the corners. And the third one's over here under that piece that we removed. Now the circuit board should just fall out, but I might have to uh, persuade it just a little bit. Let's 
see, we're stuck. There we go. So here we have a laser emitter. And there's the sensor, that square piece right in the middle. And this one is a little bit cloudy, a little dirty. I'm going to blow this off. And then I'm going to wipe it gently. So we got all the coarse dust off of that. I'm just going to use uh, inside of my sweatshirt here. I'm going to gently wipe that. And I'm going to look at it carefully and make sure we like what we see with the reflection. That looks pretty good. Sometimes these will get a little bit of a haze or a film on them, depending on the environment you're using them in. Once that's done, just flip it over and put it back. And then we're going to reassemble it. My screwdriver is not magnetic, so I'm going to use tweezers to put these screws back in. Corners where they belong. Be careful of electrostatic discharge in case you're in an environment where you have that risk. I've done this to four of these sensors so far today, and I haven't had an issue in here, so... Humidity must be high enough, and there must not be a lot of static buildup. I'm also grounding myself every time I touch this table. So that's not a bad thing, I think. that. We need to put this piece back in. Notice there's a notch underneath that goes this way. You'll see holes in the circuit board where those little posts fit in. Slide that in. We're going to flip it over. We're going to reconnect this fan connector. Make sure it snaps in there. We're going to tuck the wires back where they belong. And I'm going to put the other cover on first because there's only one spring to mess with. And that's this one. And you can tell which cover is which because you'll have a pattern of dust that matches. So this opening here, which is where the fan draws air in, as there's not much there because this wasn't too dirty, but that matches that. For what it's worth, this cover also has the uh, word plan tower on it. Snap that back down. Make sure all these little plastic tabs poke through. That looks good. These springs, the three of them, one of them is uh, smaller in diameter than the other one. It goes in this hole here. The others won't fit in there very well, so you'll find that out. Three. And again, those match up with these three holes in the black material, which is, like I said, blocking ambient light. So I'm going to wipe that clean and dust it off. If you've got uh, distilled water or even maybe an alcohol wipe, you can clean that up a little better. This just slides on. Snaps back into place, and we are in business. That's all there is to it. Hope this helps them.